wasanii hasa wa nje za nje hawaji humu injini kuujumu uh, utamaduni wetu na maadili yetu na miziki ambayo imekatazwa katika nchi zao wanakuja kuperform hapa na tumetangaza hapa kupitia kwa ushirikiano wetu na maafisa wa polisi na county commissioner kwamba we will make it very difficult for people like diamond and other foreign artists whose content has been banned in their countries to operate here one because we have discovered they deny Kenya Revenue Authority the much needed revenue kwa maana wanashirikiana na mahali wana perform kama ni club kama hii wanalipa pesa direct to Dar es Salaam ama to the countries of origin so those guys do not pay taxes so they fly here like heroes and like superstars perform and go and the money is wired directly to their countries of origin and the Kenya revenue does not get anything from that we have now directed that Kenya Revenue Authority will raid the clubs where they are performing and hold the owners of those premises accountable for denying the government revenue that is corruption people like those who invite diamond and other people to perform here even content that has been banned in Tanzania and another countries number 2 who uh, abate the process of evading taxation because when you make a contract with that musician from whatever country and wire the money directly you are denying your government revenue so we will not allow that to happen so we are making very proper arrangements and coordination between ourselves and the county uh, commissioner here and the minister of interior and the coordination of national government to the ground we want the government to be felt to the man on the ground the government impact to be felt regulation to be felt on the ground because now we are working under the county commissioner to ensure that our laws are enforced and that's why we are saying it will not be business as usual foreign musicians who are coming to the, undermine our culture and our values these music is our toto kuimba hata shuleni wanaimbia mama zao inama inama na unaona wa mama wanapiga picha wana, wanaona kama ni kitu ya kushangilia ati wataka vya pool table na huku umesimama na wajui maana ya nyimbo mbovu kama hizo eh? na wanachukua picha watoto wachanga zaidi wakimba hizo nyimbo tumepiga marufuku ziziimbwe shu okay bwana nyimbo zimepigwa marufuku ni kama jinsi ambavyo walifanya basata hapa Tanzania i think waliomba msamao jamaa and then wakalikana utaratibu mwingine tena tofauti kabisa sasa hii imekuwa tofauti tena kwa Kenya ah ibaya hii eh hii hatari hii ni hatari fire hii ni moto fire wazao merauka huko tunafanyaje fanyaje turudi kwenye maadili basi alikuja madai hapa na pia the same thing analamika sio watu na tukana sio ni lakini sasa ndo hivyo ndo ndo on trend sisi hivyo sasa tunafaye eh but anyway sisi kazi yetu ni kufikisha habari ujumbe ndo ule pale kwa hiyo jamaa i take you tena ile ni ndugu yangu zile ndo hivyo tena sasa bado tunajua pia tumefanya kazi kubwa sana tumefanya kazi kubwa ku promote muziki wa Tanzania kwenda nje ya nchi na wale mabwana kula le take over everywhere you go unasikia ngoma zao everywhere you go in matatu ukiwa kwa house ukiwa kwa club everywhere haya bwana hiyo ni kama rushwa <laughs> anyway ame amemtolea mfano uh, bwana bwana Nasib pamoja na labda na wasani wake lakini haimaanishi kwamba ndo bwana Nasib ndo anakwenda kufanya um, show pale Kenya tu peke yake bali kuna wasani wengine ambao wanakwenda kufanya pale show nika napitia baadhi ya comment Uh, mawazo ya watu kwenye social media wengine wakisema kwamba hizo uh, ni figiso figiso tu kwa sababu bwana Nasibu pale amekuwa akienda kufanya show muda mrefu zaidi na labda wenda akawa analipwa show nzuri uh, sh- analipwa vizuri kuliko baadhi ya wasanii ambao uh, wanakwenda kufanya kazi pale Kenya na hilo liko wazi linaonekana kabisa kwamba ni miongoni mwa wasanii ambao wanalipwa vizuri sana 
pale Kenya kuliko hata wenda na wasanii wengine ambao ni wenyeji kwa pale Kenya ambao wamekaa labda kwenye industry muda mrefu zaidi na kukaa kuna uh, figisu figisu zingine ambazo zinaendelea za kufanya promotion ya asilimia mia moja wasitangazaji pamoja na ma DJs kupromote mziki wa Kenya kuliko leo jingine lolote labda sasa jamaa wamezama kwenye makarata si hao wakagundua kwamba kuna hiyo uh, kuna sio kwamba wakagundua yani ipo lazima watu walipe walipe kodi sasa nikaona sukes wewe tufanye hivi kampia simu uh, Mr. Mwingereza ambaye ni miongoni mwa wasemaji wa juu sana kwenye baraza la sanaa Tanzania. Endapo kama msanii kutoka nje ya nchi akija kufanya kazi zake hapa Tanzania. Utaratibu wa kulipa kodi ukoje? Mr. Mwingereza karibu sana. Ah uh, okay, mimi naitwa Godfrey Mwingereza, katibu mtendaji baraza la sanaa la taifa kwa kifupi kafati. Eh kimsini nilize kwamba wasanii wanapokuja Tanzania ku kufanya onyesho wanalipa kodi au vipi. Mm-hmm. Na kimsingi tu kwamba utaratibu wa baraza au msanii anapoingia Tanzania kufanya kazi ya sanaa moja kuna kamati ambayo inapitia maombi ya mtu anayemleta msanii huyo kufanya kazi ya sanaa inaonekana ni kwenye matamasha au kwenye programu mbalimbali. Ah uh, kamati hii inapitia maombi kwa hiyo inaundwa na wajumbe kutoka wizara tano hii. Kuna maana baraza kwa sababu sheria baraza ndio inatumika na kanuni zake. Uh, baraza ni katibu ya hiyo kamati lakini mwenyekiti wa kamati hiyo anatoka wizara ya habari utamaduni sana na michezo, wizara ambayo ina dhamana na masuala sana. Lakini kwa wenzetu wa wizara ya mambo ya nje na ushirikiano wa Afrika Mashariki kwa sababu ya mahusiano ya kimataifa lakini tuna mjumbe kutoka TRA kwa sababu mm. kwa sababu swali lako la msingi limejikita kwenye swala la 